Hey guys, today I want to show you on how to fix a um, problem with a Toshiba P55W and some other Toshibas too, but this is the one I had a problem with. So uh, what it was doing, it was, uh, it was shutting down on me or shutting off on me all the time. So um, I had to figure out the problem, so I did. So basically what it was, was the memory. So I had to replace both memories. But well, here's how you can test the memory. You go to the search right there. All right, we go to search and we type in memory. All right. And you're going to see the memory right here. You're going to see the memory um, diagnostic. That's where you want to go. We're going to click on that. And you're going to see it right here. We're going to restart now and look for the problem. So um, you got to do that. Sometimes even if the memory doesn't have, if they don't have any errors in it, you still might have to replace the memory because there is something in the physical memory that is bad. So um, mine didn't have any errors in it, but um, I still, I replaced the memory and that fixed the problem. So... That's all you got to do, guys. Um, basically, um, re replace the memory. So here we are. It's doing the test. Um, this might take a while. I'm just going to pause the video and uh, come back to you. And um, let you know how everything went. Well, it's new memory. I shouldn't have any problems on it. I just wanted to show you. Like what to do if you if you're having this problem, so I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys. Um, I'm booting my computer up again. Um, obviously I didn't have any problems with it, so I got to boot it up uh, just to show you that. Uh, well, everything was working when I when I started the video because I already fixed the problem. But um, basically, what you got to do is. Uh, on this particular model number, you have to take all the screws out from the bottom, and then uh, the memory should be under the bottom cover, and um, basically just replace the memory. So it might be, it might just be one of the the memory stick, but you never know. So to be safe, you replace both of them or test it. You know, replace one. And then if it keep doing the same thing, uh, replace the other one. So you don't have to spend that much money. So basically that's it, guys. So let me show you again. You just type in memory on the search right here. And you're going to see... Uh, you're going to see the memory... Windows Memory Diagnostic. You click on that. And then you're going to see the uh, this message right here. You can do it right away by uh, restarting the computer now. That's what they recommend. Or you can do it whenever, like, before you go to sleep. So you don't have to, like, uh, wait that long. But if you're having problems with it, you know, just do it right away. So, so that's it, guys, for now. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, I will try to help you. Thank you.